Welcome back to Music News TV. This is Tim Hunter. Glad you guys could make it over this evening. Uh, in today's music news, Dr. Dre has really, really, really been getting his flowers today in the biggest way possible. Dr. Dre was honored with his own star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. A lot of celebrities and a lot of filmmakers and Hollywood starlets haven't achieved that goal yet. Dr. Dre and his history of music and hip-hop music and R&B music and so on has achieved it. He officially got his star. Uh, Dr. Dre was uh, pretty much uh, welcomed directly by Big Boy. I don't know if you guys know Big Boy. He's a radio personality with a great sense of humor. They've been friends for so long there. So he went on ahead and welcomed Dr. Dre up. And um, before Dr. Dre actually got to speak and, you know, say his part there, they brought up Snoop Dogg. And Snoop Dogg showed his appreciation for his relationship with Dr. Dre for over 30 years of working together with each other. You know, of course, Dr. Dre came up and he really, you know, thanked the city. And I think it was something a little special for him because, you know, you got to figure he grew up in L.A. and Compton, as a matter of fact. And for him to get that hometown acknowledgement on that level, it's like a sweet, sweet thing for him, you know. He didn't give an awful lot of shout outs. I guess it's hard to give a lot of shout outs when you really know that, you, you know, so many people over the years, man, people you work with directly, people, friends, family and so on like that. So that part I understand he has to be neutral, but he said something that was interesting that he's almost 60 years old. Can you believe that? Dr. Dre almost 60. And as a quote from his own mouth, he said, he just getting started. Oh, I can't wait to see what else he's gonna bring. Now, this is the thing. I I can confirm on my opinion. I think Dr. Dre is the number one rap producer in the world. <clears throat> I don't think there's no one better than him, and it would be very difficult to surpass him. Who do you guys think is the number one rap producer in the world? Kanye, Swiss Beats. I don't know. Dr. Dre is kind of early on to really bring some creative production in. You know, this guy's been around since the mid-80s, you know, 84, I think it is. So, nonetheless, congratulations to Dr. Dre there. Eminem and 50 Cent actually showed up as well there to show their support there. So, that was a good look. Anyway, going on to the next story there, Bruno Mars. There's been some talk about Bruno Mars um, on a $50 million debt to the MGM Casino in Las Vegas. Now, I don't know how true that is. Vegas is a very interesting place. I mean, if there's any place that got a history of, you know, uh, some foul dealers with concerning money, it is Vegas. As you guys know, it got a rich history with the mafia and things like that. I don't know if those are the good old days or if that's very active or what have you, but it's said that he owed $50 million in gambling debts and he has to stay there and work it off. Now, it has been confirmed as a recent that Frank Sinatra was locked down with, you know, one of the casinos had to perform all the time because I guess he was in a little situation with the mafia there, you know, and that's according to some verified sources. So things like that do happen. But according to MGM, they said that that's false and that's just like a some kind of rumor whatsoever. They have a great relationship with uh, Bruno Mars. As a matter of fact, they're saying that they really love his work at the Dolby Live Theater there. And he has a great relationship with those guys. And they said, you know, from what I understand, he makes $1.5 million per show. So if you want to do about 40, 45 shows and pay that debt off, that's one thing. You'll knock it out. But that's the thing I want you guys to think about. If he was locked into a contract and they just, you know, discreetly, you know, pressing it over like that, he's been there for about nine years. He's only 38 years old. He's already been there nine years long time but 1.5 million dollars or so i'll be there 100 years trying to get that money so <laughs> i don't think there's much truth to uh that particular rumor there but nonetheless hopefully that's all straightened out there and we'll be hearing some new music from bruno mars real soon i'm sure uh last but not least young thug what's going on with that case there that case has been going on for a long time there they're really trying to convict them of something yeah, something interesting happened. Now, there's a guy that took the stand that was supposed to have been a witness to a murder that took place in September 2013. His name is, uh, I want to say Adrian Bean. Adrian Bean, yeah. Now, Adrian Bean apparently went on the stand and confessed that he was high. Literally drugged out of his mind. And a quote from him says that he was, said he's too high. You know, talk about it. He said, I'm about to go to sleep on y'all. 
any ice but some water. Oh, uh, man. Uh, don't know what to think about that one, but also he did make a statement, I guess, sometime during the case that Young Thug was nowhere around. So to some degree, that's going to help Young Thug, I think. But apparently this guy needs some help because he has a history of, you know, showing up, you know, really inebriated there. But good luck to Young Thug on, his, on the case there and hope everything pan out. Well, that's it for Music News TV, guys. Support the channel if you can. I'd like to get a subscribe, a like, or anything like that. With just a thumbs up would be cool with me. See you guys next time around. I'll get some more news for you, okay? Thank you.